Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Heideman here. Today we are going to be looking at lesson three. Our learning objective for today is for you all to be able to show and tell time to the nearest hour. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So you guys are familiar with a couple different clocks. First, we have a digital clock, and that's probably what you see on most watches and things. And then we have our analog clocks with the minute and hour hand. First, we're gonna take a look at a couple times. Now, who can tell me the time on this first clock? Well, let's take a look at the hour hand and the minute hand. This is the time I woke up this morning. The hour hand, the short hand, is pointing to the six. The minute hand is showing zero extra minutes, no extra minutes, and we say that six o'clock, okay? All right, so here we have the analog time shown with the clock hands and the digital time shown as six colon and then two zero, showing no minutes. And it is a.m. in the morning. We'll learn more about that later. Next, we have nine o'clock. That's the time I went to bed, nine o'clock. The short hand is pointing to the hour of nine and the minute hand, the long hand is pointing up to the 12, showing no extra minutes, zero extra minutes, 9 p.m. at night. Okay, let's take a look at this first clock. What time does this clock show? Well, our hour hand or short hand is pointing to the two and notice that it doesn't go directly on to the two, it's definitely shorter. And notice that that minute hand is going just up to where that 12 is written, okay? So that's a good way to tell or show the difference between the minute hand and hour hand. All right, so we have two o'clock written in the digital time. Next, we're going to take a look at this time. We have our hour hand, the short hand, pointing to the 11. And the minute hand, the long hand, is pointing up to the 12. It's always up to the 12. The minute hand points to the 12 when a new hour begins. Here we have both hands pointing at the 12. And we read that time as 12 o'clock, also midnight or noon. All right, next you're gonna get your blank clocks out in the sheet protectors and your dry erase marker. I want you to practice writing the time four o'clock, both with the digital time in digital form and the analog clock as well. So go ahead and write those hands. If you need to pause our video, go ahead and do that. Four o'clock. The next time I want you to show is six o'clock. So that short hand is pointing to the six and the minute hands all the way up to the 12. Good. The next two times we're showing zero minutes and the hour hand is pointing at the one, one o'clock. And the same thing for the next one, showing eight o'clock. So go ahead and practice those times on your blank clocks using those dry erase markers, writing them digitally and showing them on the analog clock. All right, we'll be practicing some more time when I see you live today. Enjoy the rest of your morning. See you soon. Bye-bye.